Blessed children in the world, this is your Father in heaven speaking through this maidservant on this day. I love you, my children. I am with you. I pour forth my spirit through you to a lost and desperate and broken generation. The world is in great turmoil at this time, my children. They need your help, the help of my believers, my faithful ones, those who have been trained and equipped and prepared for such a time as this. Be my hands and my feet at this time, my children. Be my heart beating in love for every person on the earth. Do not judge, do not criticize. Just love, my children, love greatly. Be wary of wolves in sheep's clothing. There are many out in the world to deceive you, to take you off the right path, the narrow path, the path which leads to life and not death. Trust in my words, my children, trust in my Holy Son, your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Trust that he came and died and he rose again for your sin and your salvation. Hold firm to this. I am with you, my children. I am not going to leave you during these darkened days. Everything has been planned for your well-being, for the goodness of your soul. Continue to read my word, my holy Bible. To continue to pray, to worship, to go for a beautiful karahashikiti, walk through nature if you can. To bring to your remembrance the good things I have done in your life. I wish to speak with you each day, my children. Come to me in prayer. Write down the words that I place in your heart, in your spirit. I wish to minister to you, to help you through these darkened days. I want to speak with you daily, my child, to tell you where to go, where not to go, where is dangerous, where is safe. My children, put all your hope and trust in your God, the deliverer of your soul, the forgiver of your sins, life eternal. I am with you this day. Receive my spirit. If you do not know me, ask. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened in your life. My child, I want only good things for you. I have good plans for your life, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you that hope and that future. If you place your hand in mine, if you set your eyes upon heaven, I will satisfy your soul with long life, my child. You do not need to fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. A thousand may fall by your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but none will come near you. You will only look and see the punishment of the wicked, my child. But if you have been cleansed and redeemed and set free through the blood of Jesus Christ, Karaheshi, you have nothing to fear. You are pure and righteous and holy before me. Do not go another day without your sin being forgiven, without turning from your wicked ways, repenting in the holy name of Jesus. Give unto him your whole self. Lay your life down before him, for he laid down his life for you, for your sin, for your salvation, for your healing. Trust in my word, my promises in the Holy Bible. Trust that I will deliver you and set you free and I will heal you of all diseases. If only my people would humble themselves and seek my face, I would heal your land. But the world has gone astray. You are a law unto yourselves. You think you know what is right and wrong. What you think is right is not always right or good for you, my child. Sometimes it is just the flesh, the cravings and lusts and desires of the flesh. But it is not good for your soul. 
It is not good for your mind. It is not good for your well-being and your emotions. Be careful, my children, not to fall into the lusts of the flesh, the desires of the heart that are against my will. You are human. You are not spirit. I am spirit. I am life. And I lead by my spirit. And I know what is good and right for the human soul. I know what is right for you. I know what will bring you joy and happiness, contentment. My child, come to me this day. Bow your knee. Whether you know me or do not know me, bow your knee this day and I will give you an experience of God, an experience of heaven, a tangible experience of me. Doubt no longer, my precious ones in the world. I am here, I am with you. I am waiting for you to return unto me in the heavenly realms. I wish to welcome you into paradise at life's end. You choose life or you choose death, my child, during your time on the earth. There are many, many lessons to learn, but you also, through these lessons, are drawing closer to me or further away. Every decision, Karahashi, either brings you closer to me or further away. Nereboshiki life is a continual lesson to draw men to me or further away. What do you choose to do this day, my child? Do you choose to walk into the arms of your God? Into my loving arms where I will look after you and take care of you and provide all of your needs according to my riches in glory through Christ Jesus your Lord. Or do you choose to go your own way? Do you think you know more than me? Nor more than the creator of your soul, the creator of the universe, the eternal one? I have been there in the beginning and I will be there at the end. I am eternal and omnipresent, omnipotent. You cannot fathom me, you cannot understand my ways. My ways are higher than your ways, my thoughts higher than your thoughts. You can never fathom the mind of your Holy Father, your Creator, the Eternal One, the One who brought all things together. You only see in part whilst you live upon the earth and know what I give you. The revelation that I choose to give you is such a tiny amount of all that I am. I am eternal. I know all things. I know what you are thinking now. I know when you will rise and when you will go to sleep. I know when you will pass from the earth. I know the day you were born. I know who your parents are and you know who your children will be. I know who your grandchildren and great-grandchildren will be. I see all things. Karahashikiti, not just the moment you're in now, but the beginning and the end. I see and know all things. Blessed children in the world, I have a paradise awaiting you at life's end. A new creation, a new heaven and earth, something so beautiful, so, so inexpressible through words. It is an experience, but I wish for you to experience heaven on earth, a tiny taste of all which is to come, a foretaste of heaven. I will give it to you this day, my child, if you bow your knee before me and surrender your life. If you place your life into my hands and trust me. If you say thank you, all I want is for my children to say thank, thank you, to be grateful, appreciative of all which I have given you during your life, during your time upon the earth. I provide your food and your water, your shelter, your finances. I provide everything you need, your clothing. I bring and work all things together for good for those who love the Lord. Blessed children in the world, receive my glory, my presence upon you now. Breathe me in. Breathe me out. Relax, enjoy, enjoy your life, 
Stop all your worrying and stress. I know the day you'll pass from the earth. It will not change, my child. I will be with you in your very last breath. You do not need to worry today about something which will happen in your future. I can deliver you from all sickness, my children, but you must trust in my promises. You must trust in my Holy Bible. You must trust in my word. You must trust in me. Put all your trust in me this day. Surrender all. Let go. Let go of the chains which bind you to the earth and fly freely into my heavenly realm. Begin to praise and worship and see my face. The world cannot hold you, my child. If if your eyes are set on me, set like flint before your God. Do not look to the left or the right. Do not walk in the ways of men, in the wickedness of humanity. There is a purity, a righteousness through Christ your Lord that you can receive today. You can be washed white as snow, cleansed and forgiven of all your sin. You can be free of the sin which binds you at this very time, the things you have done against your God, the things you have willfully done that you know are wrong, that keep you separated from me. Your sin separates you from me, my child, but Jesus Christ came and by his death and resurrection, through his blood, the veil has been torn and you can freely walk through into my glory, into my presence, into my kingdom. And, f and I will receive you, my child. I will receive you with arms wide open. And you will want to worship. I do not force anyone to worship. But when you are set free from the sins that bind you, when you are healed of your sickness and disease, when the chains are broken, the addictions, the temptations, when the anger and the hatred disappears and love fills your soul, love for creation, love for your family, love for your neighbours, love for your karahashi, fellow human beings, your community, your world, love for me. You will change, my child. You will be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your heart will be changed, turned from a heart of stone to a heart of love. Peace, joy will fill your soul. You will hunger for my truth, hunger for my words, hunger for my presence each day. Nothing will satisfy you but just to be in my glory just to be with me. I hunger for you, my children. I hunger for each and every soul to return to me, to give their life to me so that I can come in and make my home within you, so that you can feel my presence and hear my voice, so that I can guide you along the right path. And then, my child, I will use you to reach out to my lost and broken children in the world, to help bring transformation to a lost and broken world, those who are seeking, those who are searching, those who are walking down the wide path, those who are trying to find me through spiritualists and occult practices, through tarot cards and clairvoyance. Do not go near them, my children. They open a door to the dark side, to the devil, the enemy of your soul, and how they invite spirits into your life, demonic spirits that will come and cause havoc. They, the Karahashi will tell you half-truths, Karahashi Kiti things, Karahashi Kiti that you think might be true, Allah Hashikiti Kiyah, and then they will turn your life in the wrong direction and set you on a path away from me and my kingdom. Let Abashiki trust no one who does not, Karahashi worship me, who does not believe in Jesus Christ and his salvation. Do not deal with spiritualists, with those who seek out the dead on behalf of the living. 
my child, ha ha lahe the dead, ha shikiti are with me. Do not seek them out. Let them rest with me in paradise. I do not wish to speak to them. This is against my will. Do not go to anyone who reads palms and tarot cards. Oh my children, you will feel great unrest. You will not be able to sleep at night. The world does not recognize demon possession anymore, but it is still happening in the world today. So many people are possessed by evil spirits, by demons. They are tormented night and day. They take medication after medication, but nothing fixes the problem because it is a tormenting spirit sent from Satan himself to disrupt your life, to cause havoc. Despair, anxiety, paranoia. You hear voices, my child. Yes, there are mental illnesses in the world. But many times there are evil spirits come to torment you, come to upset you, come to disrupt your life. Be careful what voice you listen to on the earth. Be filled with my Holy Spirit. Do not give the devil a foothold in your life. Bind the devil and he must flee. Come around people who can pray for you, my child. Who can pray for the blood of Jesus to cover your life. For his death and resurrection to set you free from demonic influence. If you feel you are being attacked. Come to me in prayer. Seek out the elders in your church. Ask them to pray for you, to bind the devil off your life. If you have been dealing with the occult, there could be familiar spirits around your life. And the voices you hear may not be from me. Test every spirit. Discern the spirits. Not every spirit is a good spirit. Not every spirit is telling the truth. You must discern the spirits, my children, through the Holy Spirit of God. You must walk in peace. If you are not experiencing peace on this day, bow your knee and pray unto me that the God of all creation will fill you with my peace, my rest. The peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your heart and mind this day through Christ Jesus, your Lord. My peace, the peace of God. Do not walk another day with the devil tormenting you. Pray, take communion, bind the devil, have others lay hands on you. My children, too many in the world are walking on the path of darkness at this time. Let air do not trust to every person, every message you hear. I release the gift of discernment across the body of Christ this day. The gift of discernment to discern spirits good and evil. Let a hasha to discern messages. So many messages in the world are going forth, but they do not come from me, from my will. And they are deceiving the elect. They are taking the elect down the wrong path. You must listen. You must listen to my Holy Spirit. When I tell you not to listen to something, you must obey. Now, Hash, you can't unsee something, my child. You can't unhear something. Once you've heard it, it goes in and it affects you in some way. I will lead you to what you should be watching. Alehea, Hash, listening to and seeing. Keep your heart pure before me, your mind pure, your spirit true to my word. I will witness to you, my children, each day. I will minister to you. I am all you need. Alere Botoko, come to your God. Make worship and prayer and reading my Holy Bible part of your day, 
part of every day. And serve others. It could be a phone call, it could be a meal, an act of compassion and kindness, listening to your neighbour, just listening. Have an ear to hear those around you and their needs. I will show you how to respond to their needs. Be love in this world at this time, my children, be love. I give you my peace, I give you my rest. My heart beats in love for you all. I am the God of creation, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and I speak through this servant, this humble servant on the earth. Thank you for listening to this message. Please take my messages of love to the world. Share them with those who are in need. Help my servants to reach the nations for Jesus Christ. For the lost and broken. For those who do not know me. I will give you creative ways to share my messages with the earth. I want my messages to go forth to every nation. The Holy Gospel must be preached to every nation, my children, at this time. Spread my words to the nations, my Holy Bible. Do what you can for the Kingdom at this time. I will love and bless and anoint all that you do, and you will feel my peace and my presence. You will be guided by my spirit. I walk with you this day, my child. I heal you now. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, I heal all of your disease. Just accept and receive my healing now. I break the chains which bind you off your life. Chains of affliction and depression. Chains of mental illness. Hatred, despair, loneliness, pride, bitterness. I break the chains. I want you to fly with me in paradise. I want you to dance, my child. I want you to be one with me in spirit and truth. I want you to walk with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit all the days of your life. Let I do not do life on your own any longer. I give you my heart this day. Give unto me yours. This is an invitation, my child, this day to respond to your God. Do not walk away. Do not close the door in my face. But walk towards me and I promise to come and make my home within you. I promise to love you for eternity and take care of you for eternity. You need me, my children. You cannot survive in eternity without me. I must lift your soul to paradise. It is through the blood of Jesus that your sin must be forgiven. I am the one who creates a heaven and an earth. The universe, I am the one who sustains your soul for eternity. I am the light and the glory. I am the eternal one. You must trust me because you are only a human being on the earth. You cannot create paradise. You cannot keep yourself alive. All flesh must die so that it can be reborn again in spirit and truth. The seed must die, but then you will rise again. And through the resurrection power of Jesus Christ, I will rise you up, your spirit, and give you a new body, a new home in paradise. But you must trust me with this, and only I can give it to you. So I'm asking you this day to come to me. Do not put your trust in man and the words of man any longer. To the skeptics, 
and the atheists and the agnostics who do not know me yet. Do not trust their words, for they have only just been born on the earth, yet I am eternal. They do not know. Nobody knows. Mankind cannot fathom their God. But one day all things will be brought into the light and you will understand. Come to me this day, my child. Give unto me your all. I am your Father in heaven who loves you eternally. Now and forever. Amen.